or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in pans. Now, when you are reading the Bible, usually you don't read what Jesus is saying. Here, Jesus is already teaching you how to manage crop production. And in managing crop production, what is he saying? There must be what? <coughs> Sowing. And between sowing and reaping, there is also crop management, which is weeding and all those things. So when you sow, you don't go to sleep. So he's saying the birds of the air don't do these things, which you need to do. So in other words, all Jesus is saying is that you are supposed to be sowing, reaping, and storing in bands. Storing in bands, it means that sometimes you can harvest your mangoes and you come and sell them later when they are out of circulation. You are likely to make more money during that time. That, so he's also teaching stores management. You can manage the storage of your crops. So don't just say, oh, the mangoes are out, and then you start selling them immediately. You can find a way of processing mangoes to add value. And where do you find it? processed mangoes? Mostly in supermarkets, not mm. Yeah, because they know how to store. But Christians just eat as the mangoes come. The Lord has blessed us with mangoes. Praise the Lord. They eat and the mangoes finish, then they start waiting for the next season of mangoes. But Jesus is saying, when you sow and reap, also think about storage. Because there will be a time when these things will be very scarce or out of circulation. Then you can sell and make more money. Are we together? Mm -hmm. So this is enterprise Jesus is teaching. So he says, and yet your heavenly father feeds them. So all Jesus is saying is that these birds, there is a way God created them that they will find the food. And he has put capacity in them to find the food. So in the same way, you were also created to sow, to reap, and to store. <coughs> now, you don't start comparing with the birds to say, no, you see the Lord takes care of the birds, so let me just be sleeping. I say, you, you should sow, reap, and store. Don't follow the birds, because there is a way God created the birds to find food. Are we following? Yes. Yeah. But Christians have said, no, 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 we don't need to worry. The Bible says, look at the birds of the air. They are not sowing, they are not reaping, but he is feeding them. So the Lord shall feed. Jehovah who answers by fire, feed us, O Lord. I receive, I receive. You will be receiving until Jesus comes, and you will have nothing. He says, then they don't sow. All he's saying is that you, you are supposed to sow. sow. You are supposed to reap, reap and you are supposed to store, store in the bags. <laughs> this is a dangerous message. Yeah. Now, he is saying, and yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? He's saying the value that is on you, you are created in the image of God. Birds were not created in the image of God. Yet they still feed every day. Birds don't even fast. Yeah. <laughs> they eat. They are not worried about where the food will come from. Because God has capacity to make sure that they find food. They will come to your field and eat. They don't need your permission. You chase them away, they will fly away. You don't fly. You not fly to say, okay, now I'll find you. They will just fly around and come back and start eating. And I've got a lot of birds at our farm because they are enjoying the water that we have there. And some people started coming to try and kill the birds. I told them, I'll take you to the police. Leave these birds alone. Because they neither sow nor reap, but the Heavenly Father is feeding them. So let them eat. Because the Heavenly Father is using me to feed the birds. Are you following? <laughs> you are more valuable than they say. Can any one of you, by worrying, had a single hour to your life? He said, no matter how worried you are, if time to die comes, you just die in poverty. Hmm. So it's not about worrying that you had a single hour. It's by sowing, <laughs> reaping, and storing. So if you are worried, hey, things are bad. I'm telling you, things are bad. <laughs> Things are bad. Ooh. And you are just worried. He said, there is, there is no help in worry. Go and sow, reap, and store. You will not add anything to your life. And why do you worry about clothes? See 
how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor nor spin. Now, what is he teaching? This is clothing industry. Laboring, sewing cotton, and then spinning. This is a spin mill that is about cloth manufacturing. So he's saying, they are not the ones doing this. You, the human beings, are supposed to do that. And you can do that by looking at the splendor of these flowers in the field, which today may be there and they are cast in the, in the fire. Where are we? <laughs> Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown in the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Now what is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Mm -hmm. So have faith, he's saying. So do not worry saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Eating and drinking is a problem on earth. <laughs> so he's talking about food industry and also uh, energy, water, development. Or what shall we wear? Clothing industry. Okay? For the pagans run after these things. They are chasing them, the pagans. But he's saying, your heavenly father knows that you need them. And that's why you have this verse, which is often quoted out of this context. Mm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. That kingdom, the same kingdom mm. from Genesis. Mm. Fruitfulness, Fruitfulness multiplication, replenish, replenishment, and, and subdue. 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 <coughs> Seek that first. When you begin to be fruitful, to multiply, to replenish, and to subdue. That is the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The word righteousness comes from the word right. What is right for you to do. Mm. And all these things that the pagans are chasing, all of them will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And all the troubles of each day are part of your money-making opportunities. Every problem on earth is an opportunity for you to make money. So you find troubles for each day that can cause you to do something to deal with those troubles so that you make money because you have solved those troubles. And one of the troubles you can solve is either food industry, drinking industry, growing industry, sewing industry, ripping industry, and storage industry. Hallelujah! <laughs> That is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He's not asking you to say, wait to go to heaven. He's saying, there are a lot of things that you need to solve. There are a lot of problems on earth. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So look at those troubles that are in each day and solve them mm -hmm. by doing things that God called you to do. Mm -hmm. And then all these things shall be added to you. Don't start running for these things that the pagans are running after. You don't need to run, in other words. You need to just do what God says in righteousness, seeking his kingdom, following his kingdom mandate to your life. And all these things will be added to you. Mm 